Happy Monday, ESM, and welcome back from break. I hope you all had an awesome break, and we have a special birthday in the studio today. Make sure to wish a happy birthday to our weatherman, Grayson. For all you Disney fans out there, get excited because today's show takes you on my trip to Disney. First, let's take a look at our top stories. New York State Police arrested a 33-year-old Syracuse music teacher who owned music in the air. The teacher, 33-year-old William Harrison, was charged for raping one of his students. The victim, only being 16 at the time, was raped in Harrison Music Studio in 2017. Harris, Harrison was then charged with rape in the first degree, sexual abuse in the first degree, and rape in the third degree. Harrison had been known to be a great mentor and teacher to the use of the Syracuse years before his arrest. A 23-year-old man shot in Armory Square in front of the Funk and Waffles just after midnight on Friday is no longer in critical condition. All were taken to Upstate University Hospital. One man, Alk Loyal, 24, Syracuse, died at the hospital. The 23-year-old was one of five men on Sunday morning. A memorial to Loyal has been placed around the tree on South Clinton Street. Green, white, black, and red balloons were closely bunched on a tree. The week before break, our high school had a Spartan Palooza week where we all got together as a school to show our Spartan pride. On Tuesday, the administration and faculty showed us their dance moves at the pep rally. Wednesday, everyone wore purple in support of it, being National Military Child Month. Thursday, everyone came to school dressed as either country or country club, and being very talented in the marching band, performed a part of for a show for us. On Friday, there was a cultural fair where the students and teachers gathered to celebrate their culture through the dance, candies, posters, clothing, and music. In the cafeteria, a walkthrough of the different cultures happened and people were reading and trying foods from different cultures. In the auditorium, the school hosted a fashion show of students and teachers dressed in beautiful clothing from their culture. And at the end, two girls started to dance and brought others out onto the stage for other cultures showing their outfits. In the big gym, some of the teachers hosted a rock, paper, scissors face-off. And in the small gym, there were programs and colleges there to teach students who were interested in some day joining, such as the YMCA colleges and people in the army who brought a pull-up bar as a competition for the students. Please stand for Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible with liberty and justice for all. The Days in on Florida Circle has seasonal employment opportunities. The positions are full-time in the summer and part-time through fall, winter, and spring. They pay their employees 15 to 20 per hour. For student employees, they will be offering an additional $3 an hour of tuition assistance. Because they are a hotel, they are also able to provide low-cost housing to employees who need it. For students who are looking for jobs that are compatible with a full-time academic schedule and are in need of financial assistance for a local degree or cert certificate program, they believe that this will be an excellent fit. Are you interested in working in education as a possible career? Would you like to tutor younger students and visit local colleges? Check out the Take a Look at Teaching Club. Our next meeting is after school on Wednesday, April 20th in room C4. Join the Google Classroom for more information, W4NXOEY. So here is a little look at my trip to Disney. Entered Japan. This is bald head. School bread in Norway. How is it? Pretty good. Okay, so now we're in Germany and we have what do we have? Potato pancake with applesauce and a bit
So as you can see, there's nothing really happening overhead, but that doesn't mean we'll be clear because what might shock you is tomorrow on Tuesday, we have a 70% chance of a snow day tomorrow, which is pretty shocking because what's gonna happen is we might get two to five inches and that's gonna be mainly a slushy composite. So it'll be bad road conditions. So make sure to watch out. This snow will start falling shortly after midnight and it's gonna start falling in heavy amounts. Now, on to our seven day. Today, we will have a high of 56 and a low of 31, and tomorrow, it's gonna be much colder because we're gonna get snow with a high of 46 and a low of 34. Wednesday is gonna warm back up with a high of 50 and a low of 40, and it's gonna be pretty much like that for the rest of the week. With that, I'm Grayson with the weather. So for all you seniors and hardcore Disney fans, Disney offers a college program where you work at the parks. This is a great opportunity for anyone who would want to work at a Disney park, and the program is for college students or recent graduates, and is highly competitive and selective. And today I am joined by Jenna Ferrari, and who is participating in the Disney College program, and she is an alum of 2019, and she goes to St. John Fisher College. So Jenna, can you tell me a little bit about your experience with the college program? Hi, yeah, thanks for having me. So I am doing the Disney College program um, in May and I'll be there all the way until the end of the year. So I'm ex super excited to move down in a month. So for the application process, it's an online application and then you do a little web-based interview and then from there they let you know if you're accepted or not. So at this moment, I don't know what my job will be. I'm hoping that I find out my role this week or next week. So again, it's super exciting because as the weeks go on, I find out more information. Um, I live in an apartment complex there in Orlando. It's called Flamingo Crossings. It's brand new as shown here. So it's, really it's nice. super, super awesome. You can see this pool that I'll be hanging out at all summer. Um, and so to pay for this, that will come out of my paycheck every week. So I will be paid hourly, just like a typical employee would in Florida and just working a bunch of hours working full time. Um, I am a full semester ahead of college, so I will not be taking any classes while on my program, which is really nice. Um, I'm doing independent research on my own, but you have the option of you can take classes if you want or you don't have to take classes. So sometimes people after they graduate, um, they do this program so that it doesn't interfere with school or sometimes people do it in the middle of their uh, undergraduate education like me. So I'm super excited in the next couple of weeks to find out what my job is, what my location is. So I'm very, very, very excited. And all of us here at ESM wish you the best of luck with your Disney trip. And that sounds very exciting. And with that, let's head on over to sports. The softball team won all four games over break, first against West Hill 12-8, then against Chittenango 8-6, and then Central Square 8-5, and finally against Syracuse City 14-1. Jaylena Sabatino had seven total runs, and Liv Goff had 20 strikeouts during, the, during two games out of the four-game stretch. Over break, the boys lacrosse team won two games against Central Square 17-5, and Syracuse City 14-5. Over the two games, Jackson Palem had a total of nine total goals, Logan Welsh had five goals, and Trey Jones had four goals. The Boston Celtics beat the Brooklyn Nets 115-114 on a last-second shot by Jason Tatum to win Game 1 of the Eastern Conference first round. In upcoming games, the boys' tennis team has a match at JD at 4.30, boys' and girls' track has a meet at Cortland at 5, and boys' baseball has a game out of Oswego at 5. And I'm Tanner with your sports. Well, ESM, I hope you all enjoyed learning about the Disney College program and the trip to Disney. From me and everyone here at The Morning Show, have an awesome day.